ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर इन कंटिन्यूटी ओके इन कंटिन्यूटी फाइव पॉइंट वन एक्सरसाइज ऑलरेडी वी हैव फिनिश ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन ओके अप टू लास्ट क्लास फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फोर्थ क्वेश्चन ऑनवर्स वी विल सी नाउ ओके लेट एस ट्राई टू फिनिश फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फोर टू थर्टी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी सेवन क्वेश्चन वी आर एबल टू complete in this video let us start see what they have given in 24th question determine if f is defined by function f of x is equal to x square into sin 1 by x if x is not equal to 0 0 if x is equal to 0 why they have given if 0 if you substitute here automatically apply 1 by 0 undefined will come that is why When x is zero, zero they have given. When x is not zero, x square into sine one by x has they have given. Okay. Here you see, this is a continuous function like they are asking. See, continuous function means how we have we are going to find. We are going to find main limit, left hand limit, right hand limit. If all three are equal, then we can say that this is a continuous function. But you see here, main limit is uh, x is equal to zero means zero. See, first of all, you see. Whether this function is continuous or not, uh, by seeing uh, limit at zero only we can find. Why? Because see, at limit zero only function is changing from minus infinity to zero, but not equal to zero. Up to zero, this is the function. From zero to again plus infinity, this is the function. At zero, zero value like that we can understand by seeing this. That means if at all function is discontinuous, it should be discontinuous at zero, or else it is continuous. Okay. Then, if we find limit at x is equal to zero, if uh, that is continuous, then we can say that this function is continuous, or else it is discontinuous, like we can declare. Let us find the function at x is equal to zero. Why? Because we know very well three limits we have to find: main limit, left hand limit, right hand limit. Okay. Let us see how I am doing. You see, main limit limit extends to zero. F of x is equal to Limit extends to zero. F of x means what? At zero, zero. Scalar function, scalar limit like now it has become zero. Uh, now you see to become continuity of this function, if at all it is continuous, left hand limit, right hand limit both should come zero. Okay. If both doesn't come zero, then we can say that we can declare that this function is not continuous. Okay. Ha. Uh. See how I am doing. How I am proceeding for this function to prove the continuity. Why? Because I am going to approach um, what we can say sandwich theorem. Like, okay. See how what I am doing. Now left hand limit, right hand limit, both are equal. You see here, x is not equal to zero means left hand limit, right hand limit, both are equal. Then we can say at x is not equal to zero, left hand limit, right hand limit, both are equal. Like, see what I am writing. At x is not equal to zero, limit extends to zero minus f of x is equal to limit extends to zero plus f of x. Is it correct or not? First, you tell me. Definitely correct. Why? Because see, at zero only one function is there. This function not equal to zero means less than zero, greater than zero, slightly less than zero, slightly greater than zero. That means left hand limit, right hand limit, both are this function only. Okay. Now you see what I am doing now. How I am proceeding this? You see, observe carefully. A x is not equal to zero, comma. You see what I am writing. Sine of one by x is minus one plus one. Is it correct? First, you see. Slowly, I am going to uh, our uh, solution. Sine one by x. You see here, I am writing something because minus one. Sin theta plus one. Is it correct? First, you see, sin theta value is from minus one to plus one. It lies in between. Why? Because sin theta, if you see, sin zero is zero, sin ninety is one. Again, sin one eighty is zero, sin two seventy is minus one. Again, sin three sixty is zero. That means from zero to one, one to zero, zero to minus one. Again, minus one to zero. That means the value re revolve around minus one to plus one only. In between, zero will come. We know very well. Now you think theta is like one by x here. That theta is like one by x sine one by x is equal to 
plus minus 1 to plus 1 equal to also will be there you see equal to and greater than equal to minus 1 and greater than minus 1 equal to 1 and less than 1 okay this value now you may ask sir how can you write but if you go to if you apply 0 here then n define will come see I have already written here x is not equal to 0 that is why x we are not giving 0 here okay now what I am doing you see observe carefully now okay I am multiplying with x square from both sides all three sides why because you see here x square is there x square okay if I multiply with x square what will happen minus x square x square sin 1 by x x square is it correct definitely correct why because see minus 1 into x square minus x square plus 1 into x square plus x square these two in between sin 1 by x into x square x square into sin 1 by x this is what this is what we want okay uh, now what i am doing i am applying limit now now i am applying limit you see limit x tends to you see 0 you apply 0 minus or 0 plus but while application you are going to do 0 only you know very well at x is not equal to 0 means you can take 0 minus or 0 plus both are same I am taking 0 minus only 0 minus minus x square less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 minus x square sin 1 by x limit x tends to 0 minus x square is it correct first see I am applying limit 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 same limit I have applied okay huh. now what I am doing logically I don't apply in between I apply only these two okay you see what I am doing you see what I am doing if I apply here automatically what will come zero but this I am not applying limit x tends to zero minus x square sin 1 by x and this also zero see while application zero minus also zero plus also zero only you are going to apply limit for function only you are choosing function only you are taking separate function but logically I have now applied in between why because if I apply 0 here again and uh, and um, undefined is going to come that is why I have not applied but without applying also you can find the value you see here this value is between 0 and 0 between 0 and 0 means what 0 only then you can write like this you see what I am writing now limit extends to 0 minus x square sin 1 by x is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus x square sin 1 by x is equal to 0 is it correct or not first you see what I have written 100% correct why because this value is in between 0 and 0 means 0 only both why because x is not equal to 0 means it may be minus it may be plus 0 minus or 0 plus both are going to become 0 only now you tell me left hand limit is 0, right hand limit is 0, main limit is 0. Is this function continuous or not? Continuous. Then you write continuous like is the function is function continuous? Yes, this is a continuous function. Yes, this is a continuous function. Okay? Huh. Like this you write and close this question. Okay? Let us go for 25th question. Okay. Okay. See the 25th question. What they have given? Examine the continuity of the function. F means function. Where function is defined by. You see function is. Sin x minus cos x. If x is not equal to 0. Minus 1 if x is equal to 0. That means what you are going to understand here. If at all function is discontinuous. Why? Because he is asking us to examine the continuity. If at all this function is discontinuous, so the, the discontinuity will be at x is equal to 0, point of discontinuity. From minus infinity to up to 0, this is continuous. We know why because sin x is continuous, cos x is continuous, we know very well. From 0 to plus infinity, again this is continuous. At 0, minus 1 is there. Okay, That means if at all this function is discontinuous, this will be discontinuous at 0. If at all the function is at continuous at x is equal to 0, then function is continuous. That means what we are going to do? We are going to find the continuity at x is equal to 0. That's all. Okay. Let us find. This is a simple direct question only. Let us proceed further. Okay. 
continuity at x is equal to 0 write down continuity at x is equal to 0 okay uh, i have written this is what i am writing now limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 see at 0 what is f of x minus 1 that is equal to minus 1 why because see uh, limit of a scalar function like minus 1 has become okay okay now you tell me left hand limit right hand limit both are same here you see x is not equal to 0 see x is less than 0 one function x is greater than 0 another function is there means then left hand limit right hand limit may be different functions you have to take but now you can take same function for left hand limit and right hand limit now what we are going to write we are going to write left hand limit is equal to right hand limit that is equal to this function but uh, those equal to main main function are not we have to see huh. that we have to see okay let us proceed further see what i am writing now okay see left hand limit 0 minus f of x is equal to right hand limit 0 plus f of x that is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus I am taking 0 minus only both are same means anything you can take okay or else I am keeping like this okay implies uh, now you tell me function what is this function 0 minus means this one sin x minus cos x is it okay definitely okay okay now write down now write down um, that is equal to no apply limit sin 0 minus cos 0 is it okay why because while application 0 minus 0 plus both 0 only are going to apply this is practice sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 that is equal to minus 1 this is equal to right hand limit also that means left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to main limit all three are equal what you are going to write you are going to write like this you see left hand limit 0 minus f of x is equal to right hand limit 0 plus f of x that is equal to main limit x tends to 0 f of x therefore this is a continuous function you understand now yes like this only you have to proceed further okay let us go for 26th question okay okay see the 26th question what they have given Find the value of k. See, k value you have to find. So that the function is continuous at x is equal to pi by 2. See, here, he, they themselves are telling that function is continuous at x is equal to pi by 2. That means, see, this equation, the equation, both are equal. When it is continuous, automatically, less than pi by 2 equal to pi by 2 equal to greater than pi by 2. Why? Because x is not equal to pi by 2 means less than pi by 2 greater than pi by 2. Left hand limit, right hand limit, both are this only. Okay, uh, that you keep in your mind. At pi by 2, value is 3. Constant function. Okay. Then you equate, then automatically one equation or something like will come. Then you can find the k. K value. Okay, see, while finding k value, unless this function is continuous, you cannot find the k value. That you keep in your mind. Okay. Uh, let us proceed further. Okay. What they have given already. Okay, you see. Limit x tends to pi by 2 f of x is equal to limit x tends to pi by 2 3. Why? Because equal to that is equal to 3. Okay. Uh, this is one value. Okay. Now you see another value how we are going to find left hand limit and right hand both are same. I am taking only one function. You see what I am doing. Limit x tends to pi by 2 minus f of x is what this one okay, first you write f of x left hand limit okay left hand limit i am finding f of x that is equal to limit x tends to pi by 2 minus f of x is what k cos x by pi minus 2x is it okay definitely okay okay now wait and think now if you apply pi by 2 
Why? Because see, pi by two minus pi by two plus both you are going to apply pi by two only. If you apply pi by two, what is going to happen here? Uh, you see here, what is going to happen? K into cos pi by two by pi by two pi minus two into pi by two. Yes, sir. Okay. Pi minus pi zero. You see, cos pi by two how much? Zero. Zero into something is zero. Zero by zero is going to become. Zero by zero, co case we have to avoid in limits. Okay, ha. Then how you are going to proceed? Ha. You take x is equal to pi by two plus delta. Okay. See what I am writing. See what I am writing. Okay. Let x is equal to pi by two plus delta x. Okay. Is it okay? Definitely okay. Okay, now you tell me when x tends to pi by two, comma delta x tends to zero. Is it correct? See, you are replacing x with pi by two plus delta x. Do you understand? You are replacing x with pi by two plus delta x. Okay, now you see when you are replacing pi by two plus delta x, normally. x tends to pi by 2 means delta x tends to 0 why because you see delta x 0 if you apply automatically x tends to pi by 2 it is going to become okay uh, that is why i have written like that okay now you take you substitute now limit x tends to pi by 2 will not come why because delta x tends to 0 will come okay write down limit delta x tends to 0 okay uh, now you see k into cos of x value what you are writing you are writing pi by 2 plus delta x divided by pi minus 2 into x value again you are writing pi by 2 plus delta x is it okay definitely okay okay see now what is going to happen here yeah. Okay, now you see k. I can take out. You see what I am writing now. K into limit delta x tends to zero. Okay, now you tell me cos ninety plus theta. Theta. Cos pi by two plus delta x means cos ninety plus theta. Cos ninety plus theta means it is going in second quadrant. Sine minus it will make minus pi by two is vertical angle zero three sixty. Horizontal angle, one eighty horizontal angle, ninety two seventy vertical angle. Vertical angle means sine is going to become cos, cos is going to become sine. Now cos is going to become sine minus sine theta delta x divided by. Now you see here what is happening. Two into two, two divided by two going to cut to pi minus pi. Pi minus two into pi by two. Minus two delta x, it will be minus two delta x. Why? Because if you send two inside, minus two two pi minus pi going to get cancelled. Minus two delta x, minus two delta x. Okay. Now you proceed further. Now you proceed further. If minus two delta x is there, then you see here minus minus. I am going to deduct two. I am sending outside. K by two. Limit delta x tends to zero sine delta x by delta x. Now you tell me k by two you keep aside. Limit x tends to zero sine x by x form it is there. As per Sandwich theorem, this value is going to become one. Ha. Huh. Now what you are going to write? You are going to write like this. You see, that is equal to k by two into one. That is equal to k by two. Is it okay? Definitely okay. Why? Because sine delta x by delta x value is going to become one because this limit delta x tends to zero because of Sandwich theorem. Now you tell me as this function is continuous already as given, then three is equal to k by two. Why? Because left hand limit, right hand limit, main limit, all are equal. All are equal means what you are going to write? You are going to write like this. You see, three is equal to k by two, which gives k is equal to six. Is it correct? K by two means if you send this two to this side, six. K is equal to six. Find the value of k. K value is six. Like that, you write and close this question. Okay. Uh -huh. 
let us go for 27th question okay see the question number 27 find the value of k if the function is continuous at x is equal to 2 you see x is equal to 2 only function is changing that means these two functions are same equal like we have to think where f of x is equal to kx square if x is less than or equal to 2 if x is greater than 2 3 that means the function is continuous like you already told that means these two equations you have to make equal 3 is equal to kx square k value x value what you are going to take you are going to take 2 4 square 2 square 4 4k is equal to 3 like that you have to take okay very simple let us proceed further okay steps and all you uh, write why because this uh, how already have come to more than 20 questions all steps i have written earlier like that you you continue the steps okay see what i am writing now okay limit x tends to 2 f of x is equal to limit x tends to 2 see at x tends to 2 equal to kx square is it okay? Definitely okay. That is equal to now you apply limit k into 2 square 4k. Is it okay? Definitely okay. Okay, now what you are going to write? See, this is what this is equal to left hand limit also. You see, left hand limit and main limit both are same here. You see here, if you see this, you can find limit extends to 2 minus f of x. See, limit extends to 2f of x, so limit extends to 2 minus f of x, both are same. Why? Because see, less than or equal to, both are same. Greater than 2 is separate. That means what you are going to do? You are going to write like this, you see, for greater than 2. Limit extends to 2 plus f of x is equal to greater than 2, higher limit. Um, right hand limit, right hand limit. Limit extends to 2 plus Greater than 2 means 3. Now limit of a scalar function like 3. What you are going to do now? You are going to equate both. 4k is equal to 3. Okay, because all are equal. 4k is equal to 3, comma k is equal to 3 by 4. Okay. See some steps you write. Why? Because I have avoided steps. Why should we waste time? You know very well. Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to main limit. That is why 4k is equal to 3 like that. You write and equate and you get this answer. That's all. Okay. Let us go for 28th question. See question number 28th. Find the value of k. Like earlier question only. If the function is continuous at x is equal to pi. Where f of x is equal to kx plus 1. If x is equal to or less than pi cos x if x is greater than pi that means see the function is continuous like he already given at x is equal to pi okay both you have to equate both are equal both are equal but you have to apply limit pi that means k pi plus 1 is equal to cos pi then your answer you are going to get okay write down this is simple only but even then we have to write some some steps or something like okay what i am writing you see See, equal limit and less limit. That means, see, I can say left hand limit and main limit both are same. But right hand limit is different. Different means, see, equate, we have to equate. Okay, see what I am writing. Limit extends to pi minus left hand limit. F of x is equal to limit extends to pi f of x. Is it correct first? Pi minus pi. Both are equal. Pi plus is not equal, but we have to make equal afterwards. That is equal to, same thing has come. Limit x tends to pi kx plus 1. Now apply limit. k into pi plus 1. k pi plus 1. Okay. Is it okay? Definitely okay. Why? Because in x area, you have to apply k. Okay. Now what you are going to do? You are going to take right hand limit. You see, greater than pi means... Right hand limit, right hand limit, right hand limit, what you are going to write? You are going to write like this. X tends to pi plus f of x is equal to limit x tends to pi plus what is f of x? Cos x. Cos pi, that's all. But cos pi value is there. How much? 
minus 1. Why? Because see, 0 at 0, 1 at 90, 0 at 180 again minus 1. At 270 again 0. 1, 0, minus 1, 0. Like that it will come. That means minus 1. Okay. Huh. Now what you are going to do? You are going to equate both of them. That means you see k pi plus 1 is equal to minus 1. Comma k pi is equal to minus 2. Or k is equal to minus 2 by 5. This will be your answer. Why? Because you find the value of k. k value is minus 2 by 5. Some steps you have to write. Left hand limit is equal to main limit is equal to right hand limit. Like you have to write and you have to equate these two. We have equated already. Okay. Uh, let us go for 29th question. Okay. Okay. See. The question number 29. Find the value of k. Like earlier question only. If the function is continuous. At x is equal to 5. At 5 only functions are changing. But you have to equate both of them. Left hand limit and main limit are equal. Right hand limit is different. But you have to make it equal. Then you are going to get the value of k. Okay. Write down. How to proceed under you know very well. Now you see left hand limit is equal to main limit I am writing you see. Limit extends to 5 minus f of x left hand limit is equal to limit extends to 5 f of x that is equal to again you write limit extends to 5 why because both are equal left hand and main limit kx plus 1. If you apply limit automatically 5k plus 1. Is it okay? Definitely okay. But right hand limit is different, but you have to equate afterwards. Okay? Write down right hand limit. Limit x tends to 5 plus right hand limit f of x. That is equal to limit x tends to 5 plus 3x minus 5. See, 5 plus 5 minus for choosing function. While application 5 plus 5 minus means you have to apply 5 only. Okay? This you know very well. Apply 3 into 5 minus 5. That is equal to 5. No, sorry. 10. Why because 15 minus 5, 10. Okay. Huh. Now, you can write left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Okay, because this is left hand limit also. Na? Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Therefore, 5k plus 1 is equal to 10. Okay. Uh, that you write first. Afterwards, what you are going to write? 5k is equal to 9. Why? Well, because 1 it is it goes that side. K is equal to 9 by 5. K is 9 by 5 is your answer. K value. Okay. Uh, take this. Okay. See question number 30. They are asking us to find A and B. You see, first of all, I am, I am going to read the question completely you understand. Find the values of A and B such that the function defined by f of x is equal to 5. If x is less than or equal to 2, ax plus b. If x is greater than 2 but less than 10, 21. If x is greater than or equal to 10. Is a continuous function. Ha, huh? this is very important. You see, if they don't write this continuous function, then you are not able to find the a and b values. What are a and b? A is coefficient, b is constant. Ha, huh? okay. A is coefficient, b is constant. You see here how you are going to find these values. At 2, function is changing, but both are you have to make equal. At 10, again, function is changing, both you have to make equal. Then two equations will come. Two equations if you solve automatically A and B is going to come. Okay. Let us find. Let us find the answer. See how I am writing. See left hand limit, right hand limit. Left hand limit, right hand limit. Like that I am writing. Why? Because I am not going to write down. Okay. Or else I have to make like this. This side, that side I will do. Okay. See how I am writing. At x is equal to 2, left hand limit I am finding. You see. Limit x tends to 2 f of x is equal to limit x tends to 2 or else I, I am going to make 2 minus why because you need not take main limit okay uh, there is no change for a main limit function see main limit and le uh, left hand limit both are same 
main limit and right hand limit both are same that is why left hand limit right hand limit even if you take and equate also you, you are going to get the answer okay first i am taking left hand limit of 2 you see 5 constant function is 5 like okay ha ah. okay now what you are going to do you are going to take right hand limit for 2 right hand limit greater than 2 this one okay write down limit x tends to 2 plus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 2 plus but what is 2 plus f of x ax plus b ah. here you have to substitute substitute that means apply limit that is equal to 2 means 2a plus b okay but both are equal what i am going to make i am going to make like this you see 2a plus b is equal to 5 this one i have kept in box is it okay definitely okay okay ha huh. now you see what i am doing i am finding a limit at x 10 also that means left hand limit of 10 right hand limit at 10 okay you see what i am writing limit x tends to 10 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 10 minus you see 10 minus means less than 10 a x plus b uh, now you apply limit if you apply limit automatically what will come 10 a plus b okay uh, see this is left hand limit right hand limit also you proceed proceed right hand limit limit x tends to 10 plus m of x is equal to limit x tends to 10 plus you see 10 plus b is greater than 10 21 that is equal to 21 why because limit of a constant function like okay now you see how you are going to make it you have to equate 10 a plus b is equal to 21 left hand limit is equal to right hand limit 10 a plus b is equal to 21 now back this also now you see two equations you have got 2a plus b, 10a plus b, 5, 21. If you solve these two equations, you will get a and b value. That's all, okay? I am going to do now, okay? See what I am writing. Okay, you see, 10a plus b is equal to 21. 2a plus b is equal to 5. Okay. Huh. What you are going to get to 8a is equal to 16. Is it correct? Why? Because b b going to get cancelled. Minus I am making. 10 minus 2, 8. b minus b, 0. 21 minus 5, 16. a is equal to 2. Okay. 8a is equal to 16 means a is equal to 2. Okay. Now what I am writing? This a is equal to 2. I am substituting here. 2 into. 2 into 2 plus b is equal to 5. b is equal to 1. Why? 4 plus b is equal to 5. b is equal to 5 minus 4. b. 1. Okay. Uh -huh. Now you write like this. Okay. Now you see the values of a and b are a is 2, b is 1. Okay. This is the answer for your 30th question. Okay. We will stop this class here. Still 4 questions are there, 31, 32, 33, 34. Those questions we will try to finish in next class. In one class we are going to finish this. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much.